Once again, friends, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you four key checkpoints for soft water. Please leave me an early like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my DIY videos. Let's get started. So number one, first thing you're gonna check for, you're gonna remove the cover here. You have a Phillips screw here that you just unscrew. You're gonna check that your water softener is counting your water. So you're gonna go here, this button here will be your home screen button. You're gonna click that button, keep clicking until you get to the blank screen. Then you're gonna get hit the middle button, which is the down, and it's gonna say FLO flow. Here, when you turn on a faucet inside the house, you're gonna see that the number is gonna start counting your water usage. This is the number one key factor to make sure that you are or that it's counting your water so that you get you know soft water that's number one number two again you're going to hit the home button all the way until you get to the home screen then you're going to hit the middle button here out of the three the middle button is the down button until you get to 14 days Right there, it's gonna tell you how many times it's regenerated in the last 14 days. Here, it's been two times. So that's the number two checkpoint, is to make sure that your water softener is regenerating. So by checking that, you will make sure that it is. Number three, is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your water softener is creating vacuum. So by doing that, you're gonna to have to hit the, re you're gonna to have to do a manual regeneration, which is here. The bottom button you're going to hold it and it's going to go into regeneration then you're going to find the brine rinse cycle so you're going to go again on the home screen the home button until you get to the blank screen then you're going to press up which is the furthest most button from the three here and it's gonna say one and 10. Then you're gonna hit up again. You're gonna say two and 60. That is the brine rinse cycle. At this point, you're gonna make sure that your water softener is creating vacuum. Okay, so you're gonna to come to your brine tank here. You're gonna remove the lid. You're gonna find your brine well, which is right here. Remove this little white cap off of it. And you're going to see your brine line which is this line here connecting to here now it's either going to be a twist off or it's going to be one of these john guest shark bites where you have to push back on the fitting and then you pull on the tubing here once you do that you're going to check it against your skin and see if it's creating a suction if it is then you're in good shape. That means your water softener is in fact creating vacuum. This is one of the most crucial steps to get soft water. So you're gonna reconnect it and you're gonna push it back in. Just like that until it locks into place. Now you can put your cap back on and you can put your lid back on. And the fourth and final checkpoint is gonna to be to make sure that you don't have any bridging on your brine tank. And basically a salt bridge means that you're gonna have a hollow part down here and it's gonna be solid up here where the salt is. Now down here it's gonna be hollow because the salt is sitting here and it's not dropping down. If the salt doesn't drop down, then you're not going to be getting soft water. A quick and easy way to check for that is you're gonna take your fist and bang on it here and bang on it here. If it feels hollow down here, but it feels solid up here, that means you have a bridge here and you would have to break up that bridge in order for you to get soft water. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for my next video.